I knew was that I, all I wanted to do was to draw and paint. My father had built me an easel, an old easel he found. <laughs> Nothing to do with, you know, the easels we have now. The big word, of course, that everybody uses. I'm a plein air painter. I, I hate names and things like that. All of what I, yes, impressionism is what I like. I paint outdoors. I started when I was in the third grade. I knew I liked art, but my teacher hung my picture of my bluebird on the wall. And I thought, that's really great. I knew right then that I, I wanted to be an artist. That was all I cared about. My father was a man that read history of the West. Books I knew was one by a guy named Will James. And I would sit every night when I would get home after we ate on a card table he set up for me. And I would sit there and I would copy Will James' uh, pictures from his book that, that he had done. I, I knew I loved it. And probably by the fifth grade, I was then writing to schools, find out where I could go to school, which is a little bit unusual. I knew exactly what I was going to do. I remember going to the, to the counselor in my senior year, and I thought, you dumb guy, you have no idea. I'm, I'm, already, I'm going to the Art Institute. I'm already signed up. <laughs> I knew what I was going to do. And I said to my mother and dad, I said, where am I going to stay when I get there? And he said, well, Bob, I don't know. He said, Dad, that was my grandfather, he, he took loads of cattle for the key lines every week to the to Chicago during the fall. So he says, I guess you better get it. We'll, I'll, I'll write to them and get a room. And he always stayed at the, uh, the Palmer House. That was it, the Palmer House. He got my room, and he said, well, I, Bob, I really don't think you're going to want to your dad's going to want to pay the bill for it all summer for you staying at the Palmer House because it was only a block or two from the Art Institute. So they got me straightened up and we went up and I got a room at the YMCA there. I would say probably within a day or two I started school. I went that summer and I went there the next year for a full year, and then I went about half a year. And my father said, if you can't do this all the time, because I was not, by that time I knew, I was not interested in commercial art. I was not interested in interior design or fashion or anything else. I only wanted to paint pictures. Fine arts is all I cared about. So I graduated in, in two and a half or three years from, from the University of Wyoming. And by that time, I, I got out of accounting and we were just doing general business. My father insisted that my brother and I both serve in the, in the military. So I went to the draft board and said, take me immediately. I got home and I got a telegram that said you have been assigned as Fort George G. Meade to the Army Signal Air Defense Program for Washington and Baltimore. And I thought, well, that's only 20 miles from Washington, D.C., where I wanted to be. I would go to the galleries and look at the Russells and the Remingtons and Gruel and, <laughs> and everything else and, and, and just live to museums and going to concerts at night. At the end of my two years, why well, I spent the last two months in Europe. When I was in Paris, we could fly from one, one town to another, you know, into Italy or wherever you wanted to go. And then when I couldn't do that, I could, I could go on the trains for virtually nothing because of the, of the military. So that's, that's how much I loved art. I mean, I, I did everything I could. Then my dad said, 
things had changed a great deal in Gillette, and he wanted me to come back and work in their office, and I finally gave in. I said, I will stay for six months, and then I'm leaving. I made money. I made quite a bit of money. Then my brother decided he wanted to get out of the business, and I knew what I wanted to do, sell the business. <laughs> but I wanted, I wanted him not to have a bunch of money. And I wanted money coming in for years. I wanted to sell on time. And so I was able to paint the rest of my life. All the time, rather than part time. And that's what I've done. And, you know, and I had a wife and I had two children. And, and we, we began traveling. I loved it. I, what I like about life is travel and painting. That's, that's my life. And that's what I've done ever since.